Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you some techniques to draw Pokemon and like the best way that I found to do it just for fun. Um, I mean, you guys may or may, like, may or may not like this method and that's totally fine if you like it or not. Um, but this is just kind of giving some helpful tips to the rest of the Pokemon. Guys, uh, a little bit of art skills combined with this video uh, just because I have taken some drawing lessons. So, yeah, but it, it's all fun. So, uh, whatever skill level you are, you probably will be able to do this. So, first of all, I'm just going to show you, like, the sample drawings that I did already. Um, this one, I did a little bit more of, like, shading techniques on and stuff, and so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that as well. And then, uh, I just have, like, some that are not colored in as well. Alright, so the first thing that you will need is you will need to go online and grab some reference pictures so these are all ones that i just got um off of google and i made them kind of small just because i wanted to make my drawings small but if you want to make your drawings bigger like you can make it bigger too as well um it's probably to search up coloring pages because that's what i did and and then just made them smaller and that worked that seems to work pretty well um i have some back here that like that aren't like coloring page style and it's a little bit harder to like see these through the pages um, unless you have like a light table or something at home that you can put light behind it, which, um, which you can do, but it takes a little bit of doing. Like you have to have like a, you need like a clear bin or something, um, with a lid and then you have to put like, uh, like a flashlight or something in the input my page like that. Cause it just might be easy, a little bit easier to put my page like this for today. All right. And then, um, and also what I did when I was putting these in word is I, um, I took the image and I like flipped it so that I could practice like different positions and stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just trace this outline and you can do it with pencil or pen. Um, but, like if you're kind of afraid of messing up, like you might want to try it in pencil first. Um, and then like just practice doing it in pen. And this is a really good way to practice like the proportions and everything. So I decided to uh, do it this way. Especially like the first time you're trying to draw a Pokemon. It's a little bit difficult to get the proportions right if you're just uh, doing it by sight. So, Okay, so now that I have my outline drawn, I'm just kind of comparing it to the, like, the, to the actual picture to see if there's anything that I like kind of want to fix. I mean, I know like I made like the eyebrow a little bit too long there and stuff, so I kind of look at it to um, just to touch it up or whatever, but it looks, it looks pretty good, so I think we're gonna go with this now. All right, so now I'm gonna grab my pencils, so I have a, um, a darker green here. Uh, my color pencils are Fine Touch brand, which is a Hobby Lobby brand, but obviously, like, it doesn't really matter what brand you use. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is, like, if you're going to shade, you always want to know where your light source is. So if my light source is here, that means that the light...